to the breaking news of the morning. We, Fells Fargo now has a new CEO. Uh, Charles W. Scharf will be joining the company effective October 21st. He was previously the CEO of Visa as well as Bank of America, uh, excuse me, Bank of New York. Mellon, Shanali Basic joins us here uh, from Bloomberg. Okay, so what do we know about him? What do we know about Charlie Scharf? You know, some people were thinking that he could be the CEO of JP Morgan one day. Oh, wow. I thought he was going to come back one day and be, take Jamie Dimon's job at, you know, when he was looking for a successor. So this is definitely a huge surprise at Wells Fargo here. So, well, I, when, I, when I broke the news, I did point out that this was sort of the job that no one wanted, that there were so many <laughs> names that were floated to be the CEO. So right. do you have any read on like how they got him? So he is a very interesting choice. He was not somebody that was floated like so many others were. There were another, a lot of other J.P. Morgan people that were floated, remember. Mm -hmm. But Kathy Basant at Bank of America and then also Jane Frazier at Citigroup. It, it, I think what... Harvey it, Schwartz at previously Goldman was in the running for a hot exactly, minute. Exactly. It is a hard job, right? But you've seen Charlie Scharf in tough situations before. <laughs> and so, so... So remind us of sort of how Wells Fargo got here and why they had to make this kind of shift. For sure. So they had the figure account scandal, remember? And then we had Tim Sloan, who was an insider that rose up and kind of took the CEO home. And then he stepped down, I think it was just a little earlier this year, wasn't it? They didn't have a replacement when he did step down. And so Alan Parker then, the general counsel, did step up. And so what they really wanted was an outsider and who could really clean up the bank. This was a cultural issue that came down uh, uh, from every rank, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that kind of infiltrated the bank. So they did want somebody to come in from the outside and really do a cleanup here. Warren Buffett actually Actually, at one point was saying that maybe it shouldn't be coming from finance at all mm. and so you do have Charlie Scharf who is a real Wall Street name Visa JP Morgan now Bank of New York Mellon and so he's a very interesting choice with a pretty diverse background here and it's not only sort of have to clean up the bank it's also they have to get the Fed off its back too so they can start actually growing its assets exactly you know it's funny because Charlie Scharf was one of the people that was called down to Washington earlier this year and so you know you can go back and look at the tape and how he didn't have to answer as many questions it was Bank of New York Mellon right it wasn't one of the big global banks that he was answering for but he was definitely somebody who had to deal with regulators very much before, even as early as earlier this year. So do you think that uh, Berkshire Hathaway owns almost 10% of that right. same stock? Do you think he's going to like this? Is this like a good... <laughs> well, I'm sure he... I, I would be surprised if they didn't ask him before, to be fair honest, enough. right? Or if fair. he wasn't somewhere in the process here. But uh, yes, it's likely that they will like this candidate. He's been quite supportive. Buffett has been quite supportive of Wells Fargo in general mm -hmm. through this whole situation. Of course, he has criticized the wrongdoing, but... He and also remember, Buffett also loves J.P. Morgan, mm -hmm. and so all of these people that were trained and groomed under Jamie, it there is a connection here where there is a lot of synergy. 